station, and it's bigger than the one that they're proposing, but less money. So they're talking about going back to the architects, which are John McCullough and the guy from Hardwick Hook, I can never remember his name. Somebody K? Somebody K, last name. Anyways, going back to the architects and look at the current plans. Look at the current plans and say, because something about the roof that's designed, that they designed, be really expensive. For hours. Right. For the Woodbury. For the Woodbury one. So they're looking at the one that East Corinth had. They're going to do some comparison mm -hmm. in size, um, you know, square footage, you know, the size and the shape, I guess, the design, I guess mm -hmm. is the word, the design of the building and the, and the roof. Mm -hmm. <coughs> because if, I think East Corinth is looking at 5,000. 500,000. 5,000 square feet. This oh. one is like 4,000. But the one in East Corinth for 5,000 is still coming in at like 750. And the one that was designed for Woodbury is coming in right now higher than that, less wow. square footage. So they're going to do some checking it out to wow. see why there's a difference. So they're, they're doing their due diligence. Good, they're doing their homework. Love it. Love hearing this. Yeah. So that's um, my update on that. Their, the fundraising is going to be in three stages. They're going to look to large corporations like Rock of Ages, Swenson, um, you know, the, the trucking companies that all go by there for phase one donations. Then they're going to go to the local folks, you know, Calis, Missouri. And then they're talking about this brick paver garden where you purchase a brick. And they want to make, because they're going to, you know, they're going to tear down that old store that it's was contaminated. Gone. It's, it's gone, yeah. yeah. And they're talking about having that as green space in yeah. the area. And doing these, they could do a combination paper okay, thing yes. with using some of that and kind of have a bench and maybe in memory of right. kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, they're doing a good job. That's awesome. Their chairs aren't very comfortable there. But How do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> No, I think worse. <laughs> so that's it. You guys all heard about Corona. I've been following, um, I get sometimes daily updates from Vermont Emergency Management about what's going on, about precautions. You might have seen I posted a couple of things on Front, front Porch Forum. I don't want to post too much and pe freak people out. Um, but I think it's important for people to know what's going on, so if there's anything significant. And yes, I did watch press conference, what I could hear, um, and just kind of staying up to date on it. There's one in Vermont right now affected. Right, in Bennington. Bennington. South Coast Regional Hospital. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Older gentleman who's in trouble, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And I did, you know, I, I did write back to them because I had some questions I haven't gotten an answer yet, but we'll see. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, we have other minutes to approve, or we could be done early, or we could go into executive session and talk about some union stuff. Which pleasure. Well, I think that we have a lot of meeting minutes to approve, mm -hmm. don't we? Mm -hmm. I kind of looked, right? January? Yeah, it's a step. There's six. There's six. Yeah. We did get some January. done. We did get some done. Mm -hmm. So we should probably approve some minutes, at least Let's a couple. To January? Yeah, let's go to, can you, okay. One, two. Yeah. Was it 507? Hmm? Was it 507? Let's go back and look at the clock. And <laughs> pull up the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did not have any inputs here, but Sharon did. Judgment, I don't know what's going to be there. Yeah, yeah, I think we looked at this. Yeah, there was some question that came up. Uh, I think this was the question. Oh, uh, well, maybe we can't. No, we did. We did move. We did vote to move forward with Roger. Yeah, we told Roger told me to do it. I remember. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we've done, we've mm -hmm. done that.
Wait a minute. The unpredictable nature of union negotiations was acknowledged, as well as the major implications of unpredictably high health insurance. Should be increases. Increases? Yeah, I guess it should be. Premium? They said, yeah, I think. Mean, Premium. premium increases. We don't have, you know, just like everybody else in the world that has one's business, they don't have any control over it. Yep. Yep. Good. So, in terms of the question that Sharon posed there, which question was that? Else? Did we actually vote to move forward with Roger Hill? Yeah. yeah, we did. I remember we did. At this meeting? Yeah. Um, I'd have to go back and look at my notes, but I know we told Toby. Did. We told Toby to sign up for Roger Hill. Mm -hmm. So this big cat stamp doesn't have anything to sign? No, I went through it. And Say what? This big, oh, there's nothing to sign? This Wait. big stamp oh. doesn't have yeah, anything to sign? Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because okay. oh, that's the one that has steeplechase on it. Yeah. Yeah. What minute it is? Yeah, these are January. January 2nd. Okay. And remember, we told Toby to go ahead and sign up for Roger Hill? Yeah. Okay. Um, commented on this because you can see by the color I mean I, I see the name like it's hard. Yeah. Well, I'm looking here Denise well I so, can see this because this. her name is here that means she's there yeah oh because I look at what it says here right it's hard because if you get a lot of people commenting like if I come in Rose comments Sharon comments and it stacks and it's really hard to know who said what so in in, in MS Microsoft Word it assigns a color to the person, so you know who is who. Mm -hmm. Google Docs doesn't do that, or does it? Uh, let's see. It can I'm looking at be him. Um, let me look at I see a blue, some blue in there. I'm sometimes seeing some I'll green, pick my, sometimes but I, I don't know who's green, blue, or. Sometimes I pick my own color. If you, if you click on it, if you put your cursor there and click on it, John, will it pull? to the forefront, the comment that goes on. Oh, that's how you tell. Okay. It is tricky, though, because in, in a paragraph, there might be different places where someone has. Right. All right. And the, the person who is making the suggestion can pick different colors. Okay. But, you but as long as I click on it, it tells and takes me right there. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. That works. Okay. I don't know who green is. Mars. 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 <laughs> well, I don't see any other suggestions. No. Nope. All right. So we would like to have a motion to approve the minutes with the changes as noted. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you, Katie. Mm -hmm. All right, now what do we have? Is there any, Katie, can we print off the town meeting minutes mm -hmm. that we just approved tonight so we can get them signed? Mm -hmm. I'll go get them out of it. And we can send them out to be signed while we're doing this other stuff. Well, can you get okay, to print? You have the authority now? I'm very happy. I do. Um, let's see. We'll take your time. Sometimes the formatting is just too weird, but it looks I good. have to get up and move anyways because my leg. Okay. How is that sciatica? I think it's sciatica. Oh, yeah, it's better. I'm going to go see this chiropractor on Thursday. I've oh, never been cool. to a chiropractor before. Oh, it feels all. good. So don't 
Don't camera me with my bum leg. Uh, uh, it's gonna make the harder gazette. All right. Chair, Chairwoman Wheeler thinks her leg may need to be amputated. Right. That's what I, that's what I wished. Like, oh, it's, about it's it. It's actually more than just numb. It's painful. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, my God. It was awful. I, all right. So this is going to be on camera, but Roger was trying to have a conversation. Is that? Roger is Denise Wheeler's husband, Chairwoman and Wheeler's husband. And I said, I am in so much pain, I can't even talk. Holy. Oh. So, you know, I'm living in a lot of pain, I can't talk. Wow. <laughs> he was like, whoa. I like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go buy a bobcat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, January 9th. Yes. January the 13th and the 27th. All right, let's get January. <clears throat> okay. We're on a roll. This wasn't a special meeting, right? This was a regular meeting. Yep. Regular. Yes. Um, thank you for capturing Scott Thompson's stuff really well. Mm hmm. Mm. Looks like just some minor ones here. So it equaled 100. Yeah. Yep. All right. Motion to approve the January 13 minutes with minor edits. So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. We only have what, night 20th? 27th. And then we had a week we didn't meet. I think you did, but it. Maybe, well, maybe not. Okay. Oh, this was, isn't this the one where some... We wanted to look at this real closely. I got on our thing. You know, I just realized that never came up. He no. He showed up at town no. meeting for his resolution. It was, on, it was on the news that it was um, spoken about in a few towns. Oh, really? I didn't see yeah, that. but I think Eden was one. and There were three towns where... Yeah, three maybe. At least three that it came. There might have been more than three where it was brought up, but it's at least three that it was brought up at. and They agreed they with it. Agreed. I don't think we need... And there were more that... Mm -hmm. I don't think we needed to say currently a Facebook group. I think we just ended at Vermont. Mm -hmm. Anybody else disagree with that? Mm, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Reads well. Yep. Some more minor stuff. Yep.
27th with minor edits as noted. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay, all those in favor, please. Miss Rose wants to. No, I'm just happy. Please I know you I. don't like being second, so I didn't want to do that to you. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> and if we can get those. I sent it, Denise. It says that the printer is offline. I don't know what that means. That hasn't happened since I've tried to do it. it turned off? Yeah, um, you sent it into the correct printer? You went to bed early. I think I only have one, the, like the way he set it up, I only have one choice. Oh, yeah. I and then now it says two documents are waiting. Hmm. Huh. It's on. It may be doing something in the background, like maybe it's warming up. Well, and especially because it's a big document, so maybe it is just thinking. Loading. So, so there's a thing that says print. Job name printing, and there's nothing left in jobs to be printed. It's not getting her requests. It's thinking about it. Oh, now you broke it. Probably oh, took a while. It's, really. it's on camera, too. <laughs> that's, oh, how no. she, that's how she burned her leg. She actually kicked the old printer. Probably the new one. I don't know. They just didn't. I did because it was camera. set for personal. So I just pressed okay. share. Okay. Uh, and now it's printing something. Right there you go. Um, department. Right now. And it's minutes. And it's like, really? So what is this all about? Then I talked to the secretary. And you printed the long um, room. I said, you, is that the one you want? Because our nutrition no, door is the really great to purchasing gotcha. and material mm -hmm. management. All right, give me one more minute to me. The nursing okay. supervisors and maybe no, security and few other people. They go in and they've been taking already? supplies. So and so I'm reading and you're not signing it out in the proper way. So she said, it's not really to watch the people on the time clock, but it's to watch the door to purchasing to see who's going in and out. Um, it was, but it just, I'm like, so a couple, oh, I know a couple other updates while at work. Yeah. Um, just while we're waiting for this, a couple other updates. Um, I did the hitching of the letter to hitching, about the hitching post thing for mm -hmm. the state. Mm -hmm. The other courier is the new person in charge of uh, <laughs> transportation right. stuff. Oldie but goodie. Yep. And um, what was the other thing that I did? Oh, I, um, submitted the application that I brought up about nominating our Conservation Commission as tree stewards of the year as a group. So I submitted that stuff today. Oh, good. So we'll cool. see if they get it. Okay. I haven't said anything to them about that. submitting that. Maybe I will. <coughs> we have a meeting tomorrow night. I'll send Stephanie Katie. Sure. All right, now we can sign this to make, this will make Judy so happy. Yeah. And you all know Judy's on vacation for the week, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go into executive session at the end of the meeting to discuss legal matters, just briefly. Okay. All right, is there anything else to discuss or would you like to make that motion now? Hmm? You speaking to me, yeah. Madam Chair? Yes, would you like to make that I motion now? I would like now? to make a motion that the select board adjourn the meeting, uh, not adjourn the meeting, but uh, move, executive session. move into executive session for the remainder of the meeting, just to, or for a portion of the meeting, just for how long. Okay. It can't be too long. We can do it at the end of the meeting. Well, I think we're done. Okay. Why Unless there's that? anything else. Why don't we do that? All right, so I'll second your motion. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, sir. Thanks, Katie. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Katie. We kind of covered some of that and what we might do. Anything else? Um, be, I wanted to do this before it got you know, kind of left Did you brains. You, you took a couple notes from on town meeting day when a couple people said 
we I should do I this. Did too, he, I saw you yeah, write uh, something. One of them was the input to put the a list of contact names and phone numbers. Oh, yeah, in the front, front side, yeah. inside like of the book. Yeah, I like yeah, that. So it's easily accessible. We used to have that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I don't know why it got so changed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Rose had mentioned that um, there were some errors um, in people's uh, <coughs> their term of service and yeah, we got to do so a better job a of checking of that. Reviewing, you know, we're focused heavily upon yeah. the items that are. Well, I think we leave the rest of it to the yeah. uh, to other people to look at. Yeah. yeah. We just but I would have been happy to proof it. Fees. You would have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wrote some notes down, but I forgot to bring my town report. Well, a note that I had from my own observations is if, regardless of where we have the meeting, mm -hmm. it would probably be helpful for the select board if we all were able to sit with a table space in front of us. Yes, yeah, that was not good this year. Yeah, that was kind of. Uh, uh, well, by the time it got to you, Rose and Sharon, there was no table. Had a table. Oh, yeah, right. uh, yeah, I don't know how come that happened. There was a, the tables were on either side of the lectern. Yeah. Right, so Katie amount. had a table. Katie had a table, um, but all the select board typically sits behind the same table. So right. we just need to have an extra table so that there's enough room for This everybody. was like the first year we didn't have two tables. No, I think there it was, was like that last, last year. Too. It was like that, but what we had different was we had a small table it's much smaller than the long table, but we had a small oh. table set up, and um, I was able to squeeze in behind that one. And then Rose yeah. and Sharon are good. And we need to have Sharon, uh, not Sharon, Sandra, right, the treasurer. Was gonna she say, has she to be needs, up front with she us. She needs to be. Yeah. Uh, well, she doesn't have to sit right up front with us, but she needs to be closer by. Well, well she and could have been on the other side of the lecture. Katie, for example. right, right. Yeah. yeah, she could have been over with Katie. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, yeah, I thought the same thing when she was in the audience and we were like, oh. I know. Yeah, I wasn't even sure she was there until she stood up. Katie, did you notice anything from your perspective? You know, or I, Jerome? I was surprised that um, so many people don't have a context of what you actually do. Like, they'll think they're saying something thoughtful or they'll ask a question thinking that they've somehow stumped you or something. And the answer, they, they don't have the context for knowing that these meetings happen. And that there's a paper agenda. I wondered if there's a way at the beginning to um, frame out when you're introducing yourself that you are the select board that you've met 37 times plus that for the maybe because you did have new new voters that you welcome to say like here's an example of what an agenda might look like and so mm -hmm. it gets posted mm -hmm. in these places so you could keep okay. it on it we do have yeah. well, we a lot of town members who look at it and we could have walk a them through it we could have a handout and put them on each chair saying this is what a typical agenda looks like. I mean, we write in our town, in our report, that we met 37 times, and these are all the subjects that we covered, but there were several this year that were significant. The school, right. the um, the union stuff, the, um, what am I forgetting? There's, there was like a handful of really more significant, the roads study, you know, maybe a handout, because I don't know how many people read, really read it, so that they have an idea of what's going on. Even to get the visual of like, these are the people. Yeah. You know, these people who are creating it. When people are asking questions, we're adding you weekly. We correspond by email or phone. Mm -hmm. So like scope out that this is a process. It's not a surprise that these things happened. Mm -hmm. yep. To connect excellent. the dots for people. Excellent. Mm -hmm. yeah, good excellent. With that in your okay. excellent. Yeah. Yep. Jerome, did you have anything? Uh, same observations that you already made. Okay. I did. Uh, receive a suggestion from someone who thought it uh, was a f their first time attending mm. and um, they were wondering what some of these uh, anagrams and whatnot did you what know, the the shorthand that we use mm. like oh the acronyms for back CVPRC and you know would it be possible to put a glossary together? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't necessarily have to go into the book, maybe published on a website or mm -hmm. a handout that's available. Or just maybe. spell it out. Or spell it out. Yeah. I can do that. And that's a good point. the other point that I have a note on here is the one that uh, Matt brought up that uh, maybe sometime we would want to consider going to a four uh, payments instead of two payments on the taxes. 
Yeah, he, he, brings that, he, he brings that up. We used to. We've had that conversation. We've had that conversation and Matt knows it. We can have it again. No, just for the record. That, you know what? That could be part of what we might do an informational meeting That's about. Not that we could put, if we have these two informational yeah. meetings in the summer, bring up the tax installments and also what effect of reducing from 4.5 to 3% will have on the town coffers. Um, yeah. When Michael Leugnan made that motion, and I didn't think at I the time, really I, like. I didn't think at the time to speak up, but that's going to have an effect on not that we want to make money off of people's hard times. And we did lower it last time. Right, because we've be, gone through this. We keep doing this loop. We, right, we did it. It like, used to be eight. Yeah. Then it went to seven. Yeah. yeah. Then Doug Lilly is the one who. I think wanted us to do 4.5. Yeah, one one percent above what the going rate right. of their right. right. complicates it. Yeah. We did a fixed number right. instead. Yeah. Yep. And now it's down to three percent. But if it gets too low, it doesn't incent folks to pay because it's cheaper than borrowing the money. Well, as Sandra says, we're acting as the bank. people's bank, mm -hmm. and that's not what we should. And the do. other thing about having more payments, we need to pay our bills now. We can't just. This is not like we have a monthly billing thing. That's you know? true. That's we have, true. We have salaries to pay. We have work to get done. And it comes yeah. to the beginning of that budget year, we're supposed to have the money. And as it is, we're not getting all the money. Yeah. So we're always in, in a deficit state at the beginning of the budget year because right. we have $168,000 in unpaid property taxes. And it's only over the year that we finally get caught up down to 6000 right. or whatever. And it's always, and it's towards, you know, this time of year, which is towards the end of the fiscal year. But do you also remember when we used to pay, and this was Barry Bernstein's big thing, um, we used to pay town tax and then we paid school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Barry Bernstein's big thing was, it's all coming out of the same pockets, why not make it equal yeah. installments, which is easier, maybe not necessarily easier for people. Yeah. But, but that's, you know, we've had that discussion as well. Yeah. But I'm all for holding informational meetings. And we did the informational yeah. meeting over at the town hall on Memorial Hall. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got that a really packed. good turnout and really positive mm -hmm. um, responses from people for us mm -hmm. doing that. So I but now we have to have chairs to sit on because the pews are gone. Right. So a uh, side note on the chairs is it looks like the folding chairs that we use at the school would be available to us to use at the town hall should we need them and at hmm. some point in the near future it sounds like they're going to be giving them away. Why? Hmm. They're going to get new chairs. Oh, oh. Why do they need to buy new Okay. But if they do, that's... So they want to get, get rid of the chairs, chairs we have because they're not cushioned? Is that the idea? They want to have more theater? Or at the school. To me. At the school. Oh, at the school. Right. They want to have the cushion. Ones. Which means Which get we could avail less. ourselves. Yes. Oh, okay. We could get them for free? Yes. Okay. That's but, what was discussed. Yeah, didn't wow. Donna and John, when they were proposing equipment for the town hall, they said they wanted stackable chairs mm -hmm. that could be on a... But yeah, these yeah that's that can go to the place. fundraising yeah. aspect of it. Yeah. You know, this is what we want to do for the town hall. But Paul, you know, if you support that, please contribute. Yeah. Meantime, that's right. Here's folding the folding chair. chair. That's right. right. It's better than standing. I can't remember what the chairs are like. Are they just regular metal folding chairs? Yeah, like just those? like these. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. At the school. Yeah. Been around since the forties. Yeah. Um. You can put them on carts and roll them around. I was going to say you can. Yeah, we yeah. But I mean, if they're free chairs, we would take them until we can afford to buy new ones for the town hall, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the very least, it sounds like we would be able to use them. Let us take them use them mm -hmm. for yeah. an informational meeting, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. All right, so we should think about doing that maybe in the before people get into full vacation mode. And and black fly season. May. June. No, it's May 15th to Father's Day. So when is that? Father's Day. June. Middle of June. Yeah, so June 18th. Do you think, I have a question, do you think that snow fleas are related to black flies? No. Okay, just 
same black flies. Is that the same thing as black as snow snakes? My husband, when I first what? moved up here, tried to get me to believe there were snow snakes. No, yeah. snow uh, snow fleas are just really, really yeah. tiny little black, flies. Black flies are born in fast moving water, and they have like a tether. They're tethered to the shore, like to a tree root or something oh. in the water, under the water, and they sit there on the end and they, until they reach that next stage. And then they come out of the water? Eventually they come out of the water, yeah, but they'll come out of the snow. And so what's the epidemiology of snow fleas? Well, Oh, don't Google, Google it. He's going to Google it. Genus. We're getting off of this. I, I, we have to get back on Snow track is. here. <laughs> genius. All right, anything, to, anything to remember for next year or for these informational meetings? I'm going to ask Barbara and Judy and stuff, too, what they have any thoughts, because it's nice to have it all in one Do you place. know how much money was raised from the luncheon towards the town hall? $350, right? Uh, $350 was raised, and then some of that had to go to offset uh, a few costs, so it came out at about $300. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good. Little. And the uh, Friends Out group is uh, establishing a checking account so we can deposit wow. it. Good. Oh, good. Great. I told David he needs a new apron instead of save the Kent. Right, right. Needs right. To save. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I told him the same thing. Yeah. Same new apron, yeah. David. Hmm. Friends of the town hall. I think the Kent's been saved. Yeah. Well, that's apparently what he was telling people who were working in the lunch area that this says save the town hall. <laughs> it doesn't say Kent, it says town hall. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that list together and keep track of it. I usually like keep it in the front of my town report so when we come to next season. Yeah. All right, great. Um, minutes. Katie did two versions, which thank you very much, Katie. Uh -huh. She has the very detailed ones, which we don't need to approve, but it's nice to have. Them. But we need to approve the um, other minutes, and you changed the spelling of Randy Koch's name, uh -huh. and I didn't really see anything else. I mean the changes that Rose sent also. Yeah, I told her Mike Langio was the one who did the 3% right. penalty. And I added details at the and end. And added well. the rabies clinic. Yeah, and the only, other, <clears throat> yep. the only other thing was at the end, mm -hmm. under transacting other business, the East Callis Community Trust also spoke along with Memorial Hall and um, Town Hall friends. If you could just add that the East Callis Community Trust um, where you have discussion about many local projects and efforts, including coronavirus, Murray Hall, Town Hall Friends Group, and the East Cal's Community Trust on the last page. I'm there, I'm just looking for it. Article 18. Article 18. Yep. Oh, you're in the brief version? Yeah. Sorry, that's no problem. If you could just add an and. Friends, mm -hmm. Town Hall Friends. Group and East Palace Community Trust. <clears throat> Did you have anything else, anybody? Good to get I don't think I read the edited version, I just read the long one. Yeah. But it was very nice. Yeah, it's yep. so helpful to have the long version, really helpful. <clears throat> yep, great, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, and with that, would anybody like to make a motion to approve the minutes with the edits? So, so moved. moved. Second. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. All right. Um, do you have any IT or friends update? Yes. Um, IT. Um, you were CC'd on the email, mm -hmm. Sandra, but for the benefit of everyone else, um, RV Tech is working to get us scheduled in for the server replacement um, because they won't be able to schedule it probably this sometime in uh, June, July because oh, really? of their backlog. So we wanted to get on their radar as quickly as possible so that they could make sure we're in there and mm -hmm. we're not left hanging. So that's in the works. Um, Nothing else really to report on the IT side. Well, there was that email that Judy sent us um, 
and we said we'd talk about it after town meeting. I can't remember the email right now, but we should look at that. She sent it to me. Who was it from? I can't remember who it was from. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she sent it to everybody. I can't even remember. But there was, we said, it was right before town meeting. We said, we'll take a look at this. Well, there's steeplechase. That's something, that's different. Maybe. No, this was MN, MSN, something or other. It was a warning from, might have been Secretary of State's office, about um, viruses and some other stuff, but we should put that on our radar at some point. I'll go back in my email and find it. Hmm. Make a note to take a look at that too. Um, I think it was just a general awareness type of thing, and then uh, it sounds like there's probably going to be more uh, uh, BLCT will probably offer some more um, mm -hmm. training and whatnot to help make people more aware. Um, so clearly there's a concern that we've already expressed and we discussed as we were working on uh, the RFP uh, to make sure we could get some of that. And it sounds like that'll be resolved. We'll have different resources available where our staff can go get training right. and whatnot. Um, it's becoming a big deal. But I, I'll, I'll go back in my email and find it and forward it to everybody. I thought everybody got it, but maybe not. Judy forwarded it. Forwarded it to you and I, I know. Yeah, I thought. Hmm, okay. I thought you might have sent it out to everyone and said, you know, we'll discuss it at one of our upcoming meetings. But yeah. I'll look for it. I think that will be your schedule if you want to know. Okay. But we want to put steeplechase update on our to do list now that town meeting is over. And you'll see the invoice for steeplechase is in there for the work that they did. It's like $2,800 or $2,400. Hmm. Pretty reasonable price. But anything else on town hall, friends? Yes. Um, <laughs> this kind of goes back to our previous issue. Mentioned it. Um, there's a possibility that um, some of the people in the town may come forward or encourage Orca to come forward and ask to be placed on the list of um, entities that we support. I like that. I, who, who brought that up? I like that idea. You mean on our social services thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. So this isn't coming from the Friends. Yes, it is, because this came up at one of the Friends discussions. And specifically, Scott Bassage suggested this. That's good. But we told them that, well, you know, we can certainly entertain that. but. Mm -hmm. They have to fill out an application or right, something. Right, they have like to that. go through the same. So process. you know, and over a number of years, I've spoken with Orca people right up through. Now they have mm -hmm. a new manager, I think. But I, I really would like to see Orca come up with alternative funding. I know that there's the prospect of them losing, or maybe they've already lost their funding, a lot of their funding to the, but the, used, the sources they used to garner money from, which was the cable fee. Mm -hmm. I went to yeah, federal anymore. court, and there was some kind of thing I can't explain. It. I'm not going to put on it, but there was some determination that these cable companies and the cable companies went to court, mm -hmm. saying they should not have to fund this these community benefit programs, outreach programs. So, um, Orca provides a great public service, and I, I know that they have, there's some complications where they'd have to make some adjustments to how they do business and. Hmm. You set another company up or a nonprofit or something to take money. Um, but you know, I really would like to see our work prosper and continue on in a manner or better than we've already done. So I like that idea. Um, yeah, they just got to fill out that form, get put on the yeah. this, the whatever we call it now. We, call it, we, we decided to call it something different. I can't remember now. So, yeah, for to note with the Previous discussion, Katie, about review and assess of the town meeting and things to be thinking about next time around. Um, I already mentioned the folding chairs from the school. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the capacity is about 130, 135 of the increased with porta potties. The final determination on occupancy is made by a labor and industry right. after we receive the certificate of occupancy. That's part of the process. 
I know that there was a conversation at some point. I may not be getting it 100 percent right, but that building is there's some grandfathering there based on you know, in terms of no need for sprinkler systems and all these modern building upgrades, fire code upgrades, and all that grandfathering hinges on historical levels of use. Mm -hmm. And so you know, I know that when we had the ancient roads discussion, that thing was overflowing into the road, how many people we had in there, and that's part of it. I'm sure they've had a number of meetings where it was overflow capacity, but I don't know what standing room only capacity is, but that would be the historic level. Maybe it's 230, but right. um, if we were to exceed that number somehow, then I, I, I believe the grandfathering falls away for the numbers in excess, so that there is a limitation that's beyond just chairs. It has to do with historic levels of use, and I don't know how you prove that. But the, if, for instance, the, there was an argument presented by the state that, well, the pews only provided this much seating, and then if we figured some standing room around, our number is X. And by us having chairs, we would be increasing that capacity by you know, 35%. We might push back. Yeah. And if we don't have any proof, you know, it's, I think the state makes the call in the end. Um, so you know, we just got to be aware of that. Hmm. Uh, Interesting. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments on that? Um, or the next issues that were discussed by friends of? Uh, the grand reopening is set for Sunday, May 24th. Uh, tentatively, it is scheduled what time? May 24th. May 24th. The final Sunday of the, what is the, the open arts? Yes. Weekend. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it would be scheduled for approximately, we haven't finalized that part of it, but right now we're looking at possibility of like from three in the afternoon to a seven in the evening. Mm -hmm. The program would look something like, um, at least what we're talking about right now, would be, it would start with an open house. So people can just come in, kind of tour and mm -hmm. look the place over. And then probably, uh, around 3.30, 4 p.m. time range, there would be a little program that talks about um, this is how, how we got to this point, this is what we imagine go, doing going forward. Uh -huh. Here are some of the people who have greatly contributed that we want to thank and acknowledge, right. et cetera. Well, we want to do something to some kind of a plaque for Ernie. Yeah, um, Donna's all over that. Talk she was, talk to her she was at the at the meeting because okay. she wanted to, you know, understand what we were mm -hmm. cooking up, and so uh, that's really what her part of the the open house will be is that like program and okay. acknowledgments and whatnot. I just want to make sure going around. I'm working on them, but I have oh, to stop. You got them. I have to stop okay, no, I didn't see the test. So. Yep, I almost be done here shortly. Okay. Um, and then segue into around 4.30 or so, we'll open up the grills and there'll be, you know, goodies available for people to munch on. And then segue into some entertainment that'll run approximately from 5 to 7 p.m. It's mm -hmm. live music. Where's the food coming from? Is it gonna, is it it's probably going to be done much like uh, what happened with the um, town meeting. Okay. And we'll have some uh, individuals who volunteer as grill masters and others who will contribute in other uh, okay. But we may look at something else too. Um, that those hard decisions have been made. But yeah. that's that's what we've talked about so far. Cool. That's nice. good. So just as an FYI, there's a big barn party. Hope it's not that night. That ha occurs every year up in East Craftsbury. It's might be that weekend. No. But they uh, and it, it's a it's a fundraiser for the Crassberry Chamber Players, I think. Oh, okay. Um, and there are f food trucks that come. Oh. That would be fun. And serve and and uh, there's actually they there's a, one purveyor that provides there's like a little beer bar. I don't know how they license that. It's probably a temporary license for that one event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and then there's a, a truck. There's at least two trucks. Well, we have a woman in right knees callus, Jenny, who does the burrito truck. Oh, really? And they have it up at the mall sometimes. I wonder if she's one of them, because there's definitely a Mexican. Yeah. Could and, be. And you know, that takes a lot of pressure off you all. Yeah. And then you know, to buy food and anticipate all that. And and these people have it dialed in. It's and you, really And you can really still ask for donations as people come through the door for the town hall. Yep. Yeah, so that's what they do. So it's ten bucks a head to come in, but they have a live band at the Starline Rhythm the boys every year. Hmm. The last few years, and um, so it's ten bucks and the hmm. beer, you buy the beer, and then there's food trucks and food trucks are fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the beginning of the summer too. It's kind of right. nice to have people in the kitchen. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I'll definitely mention that. And I can you can circle back. I can put you in touch with the books. So. Okay. Of that event. Can you Google the date? Of that event? He isn't. Um, I could probably look at my email to see when it was last year. <laughs> Write yourself a note. Right. I, I really worry it's going to be the same night. Mm. I got to tell you. I hope not. Well, ours is earlier. Three to seven, so. Yeah. Uh, this thing starts at like 536. People can conceivably make both. Well, I'm just taking the food trucks, too. You're right. right. Oh, right, right. Um, we need to put on the agenda uh, for our meeting on the 23rd. The um, friends of the town hall will be ready at that point to present the proposed um, memorandum of understanding, agreement, whatever it is between the friends of and the select board, as well as Another important part of that is the select board, I think, is going to want to see what the rental agreement that the mm -hmm. Friends of Group would be using mm -hmm. has in it. So, in the it's meantime. MOU, rental agreement. Yep. And in the meantime, if there's anything you're wondering, you know, will we have that included in there or mm -hmm. something you want to make sure we touch upon, please feel free to email me your suggestions or questions. Have you all finalized the bylaws? Yes. Okay. Uh, also have been finalized, um, and the the this rental agreement and the um, memorandum of understanding or usage agreement, whatever you want to call it, is really largely based upon what's in place right. with the field. Yeah, I think so. it would be. You'll send it to us in time enough to look at before the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what we're hoping to do is um, get it ready for your review. Possibly as early as this Thursday. Mm -hmm. If not, we'll meet on the following Thursday, which I think is the 19th. Finalize it, mm -hmm. and then I'll be able to get it to you by then. Okay, fun group. Um, Sounds like fun group. <laughs> really Did you get stuff. some interest from town meeting day? Yes. Um, just so you know, you are all now friends. Oh. Of the town hall. Oh, okay. Whether you want to be friendly or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there were uh, 48 entries, cards, whatever you want to call them, but there are more people because some of them have two people on them. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of friends. That's a lot of friends. And now what we're looking at that's come up in discussions with other groups that uh, maybe the friends of just is always a free thing. It's yeah, that's kind of what I heard, that people kind of objected to having a have a better reviews. opportunity to raise money by just doing an ask. Uh, right, yeah, do an appeal letter. Right. An annual appeal letter. Right. So by being a friend, you provide that contact information. and makes it easier to put together your lists. Of right. Lists. And also, you know, I, what idea. if somebody really isn't in a position to contribute, but they want to support the town hall, so they say, well, what if I just volunteer? Right. Well, okay, that's that's worth noting, and, right? You know, you no, but some people might not be support. able to even afford whatever, but exactly. they could show up to help with events. Exactly. Um, so, wanted to make sure that was on everyone's radar, and we'll be discussing that some more on this Thursday. But it, it feels like that's the direction we're going. Yeah, good. Well, Sounds great. That. And then the other thing to put on everyone's radar is. Dates aren't finalized, but tentatively the second or third or the third or fourth week in June, 
who will be the new premiere of the latest show presented by the Gospel Hall of Players. Are you one of those? Them too? Are you a player? No. <laughs> oh, I'm a player, but I'm not a Gospel Hall of Player. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's <coughs> two Irish lasses. Now, who's this by? JC, right? Uh, no, it's um, Chris and Chris, Bob, I believe. Or Chris, Chris called it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And Bob. And Anna. Anna. Yeah. So, um, that's the latest from the Friends Up Front. Any yeah. questions or? Very good. Nice work. Guys got a lot done. Yep, we're covering a lot of ground. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's 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 exciting too because yeah, it's new. Seeing that happen, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. people yeah. have been wanting to see that for so long. Yeah. Great. Unbelievable. Dream yeah. come true. So more back to more boring stuff. I went to a. Emma, does anybody have any more questions for Cliff? I went to the Woodbury Volunteer Fire Department Building Committee oh, last my Thursday. Um, let's see. Not only did I get the name of a chiropractor to see about my leg, but um, let's see. There may be a special town meeting in the fall. Um, they might request a special town meeting in the fall because Here? they want to do a bond vote. Here at Woodbury. Both. Combined meeting? They, we have to do it separate. I suggested oh, that they do public informational meetings. Because they were talking about doing a bond vote. And I said, if you're going to do a bond vote, why don't you do it at the same time as the general election? So we don't have to have two elections, which saves money, yeah. saves staff time. They didn't think about that. Now they are. Yeah. So, you know, do it when we're doing a general election. If you want a lot of, if you want a turnout of people, mm -hmm. this general election would be the time to do it. And then just hold informational meetings, one in Callis, one in Woodbury, to bring people up to speed. Mm -hmm. um, there's fundraising going on right now. Um, Are they still eyeballing that site right in town? That yeah, the one right across, the one that was yeah. donated. I guess it was donated by the credit union. Mm -hmm. So part of the thing that will happen in the spring is the deconstruction of that house. This coming spring. Mm -hmm. Deconstruction, um, remove the current building, prep the land. And I suggested that, like we did here with the town hall, that they use you know, some of the town trucks to haul away debris or the town equipment if they needed it. So Callis may be asked to also contribute to letting our guys help out with, with that deconstruction and removal of equipment. Um, Steve, have you ever heard of Steve Pitkin? Pitkin? Pitkin, Steve Pitkin. No, Seth Pitkin. Okay, he's donating, he's donating a lot of time kind of as the construction kind of project manager person. I don't know him, but it's somebody that they all seem to know. Mm -hmm. They're really looking, they've, who was it when? I think it was Paul Cerruti said that East Corinth called a disorder. You take care. Hi, yeah, I hope you feel better. Yeah, get better. Um, call to order. All right. A couple minutes after seven. Public comment for items not on the agenda. I know you guys are both here for something that's on the agenda. So. Okay. All right. You don't have any other comments? Because we're going to shut you down if you don't say it now. Okay. Um, changes. Dwayne Allman. <laughs> oh, at least he took his hat off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I wish I had oh, his money, but if he had his doesn't money, get much good now either, does you it? Don't, you don't <laughs> want his motorcycle. <laughs> no. All right. So um, Sharon and John have taken the oath of office. We're going to skip over a couple of these other items, but I think we can schedule um, official meeting schedule dates, which is the second and fourth Monday of every month. Does everybody still agree to that? Mm -hmm. At seven o'clock here at the town office. Um, we may go over to the town hall if, if and when it's open, but mm -hmm. this is what we need. This. Oh, right. This here. Yeah, about that part. Right. Mm -hmm. um, 
locations for posting the meeting notices, which we already, we do Maple Corner, um, the town office, we were doing East Callis store, but it's closed now, so I'm going to propose that we post it at the post office mm -hmm. on the bulletin board outside there. There is one. In East Callis. Yeah. East, East, Callis. Callis, East Callis post office. And I always put it on front porch form. And this is the same posting location. Well, it's the post office building, but it's the East it's Callis the rec, rec, rec building. Right. It should but be the East Callis rec building. It's the East Callis rec building, which houses the post office. Yes. That's how people know it. Yes. And there's a bulletin board right out front. Because the bulletin board would not be the post office. It would be the East Callis Rec building. You're probably right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and I will notify all the other boards and commissions that that's where the select board is designating that uh, notices need to be posted. Um, authorize a designated select board member to sign orders on behalf of the town, which is what I've been doing. So would somebody like to make a motion to approve those items? So moved. Yep. Second. All right. Is there any further discussion, questions? All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Um, operations manager. I don't know if Toby had anything or if he was going to show up. Um, we'll table so to be clear, Katie, we authorized Denise under that section of the law. Great. All right. Um, I mean, we don't have a whole lot tonight, so I'm hoping that maybe after we get done with some of this stuff, we can resume discussion um, about the union mm -hmm. issues. Okay. So I think I forwarded to uh, everybody, and it should be in the folder, David Healy's request for the board to send a letter of support. Wex for grant Wex grant application to the Department of Public Service. Yeah. So it's a sixty thousand dollar grant or something. What did I read that? I, I, you know, I think it is sixty. I think that's what they. Yeah, I read it somewhere else. Yeah, Wex it's not blog. here, but I think that's right. Now he spoke about that at the right. last time he was here, mm -hmm. and I thought he the. CB Fiber already got that grant. So they this got, is for WEC. This is for the WEC. If it says Washington Electric. Yeah. Go the town on. is primarily served by Washington Electric. Right. And is a member of the CV Fiber Communications Union District. We are in urgent need of high speed broadband for the future vitality of our community. Blah blah blah. Um, I don't have the attachment. I don't have the attachment. I've got the We've got letter the email, of support, which is the email. email. Oh, I didn't put an attachment in. I'm sorry. Did it not come through? I cannot. Gmail makes me crazy. I send something. Can you make a copy for people? I'm sorry about yeah. that. Um, and for some reason, if you don't do it right, the attachment that somebody sent goes away. It doesn't go Well, this away. is a PDF of the Gmail. I should have told you. No, it's consumed. Okay. Um, so what they're asking is that we submit a letter in support of Washington Electric Co-op's application for a broadband innovation grant. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Of course. So this is separate from yes. the $60,000 grant they already got. Yeah, that's my understanding. That's CV Fiber already right. got that grant. This is for Washington Electric to get a grant. So I see this is good news because I know Washington Electric was unsure yeah. uh, whether, they, whether they'd be involved or to what level they'd get involved. Mm -hmm. So this, this will allow for them to assess well, there's, what their involvement is. Their system, uh, their well, because wasn't it, isn't it Wex polls that they would mm -hmm. polls. put yeah. Yeah. the stuff on? So it, made, so it makes yeah. sense. But WEC has the trucks right. and the equipment. Mm -hmm. So if CB Piper could work out with WEC, at least in their territory, help a me coordinated help. thing, then CB Fiber isn't hiring some contractor that can right. WEC. And if WEC's a partner and WEC could then do the billing, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a whole number of. Remember, WEC did that. Um, Email service, what was that? At a, they worked with that company at a Hardwick and then got uh -huh. sold. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they that included in our electric bill if you oh. signed up for it. 
795 or something for email service when we had dialed that that was mm -hmm. attached to because it. they had the, the ability to do the billing and it was a nonprofit and everything so yeah. so I think they might have put it on some website like that and that's great I was yeah. hopeful they would do that so would somebody like to make a motion to um, say that we will send a letter of support yes uh, so it's, it's not a letter we sign off on yeah it is. It. oh okay so they prepared that for us? Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm reading. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, yes, yeah, so that we sign this letter of support as coming from us. Right. I, I'd make that motion. I would like to make a friendly amendment that we authorize Denise to sign it on behalf of the select board. Correct. That would be seen as friendly. That would be great. But I need a second for mine. Second. And then Cliff. I would like to uh, make a friendly amendment that we nice. authorize the select board authorize to be sweet enough to sign it on behalf of all of us. I see that as friendly. Okay, is there a second to close? You don't need it. It's okay, friendly. it's friendly. You don't because need it. I agree to the amendment. Okay, then. Are we ready to vote? Unless the seconder has Oh, a typo. Where? Lowering. You forgot the ER. I and lowering the costs. Good, I will fix that. Please in that last sentence. Bring high speed broadband to our entire community. Oh, there yeah. There needs to be like a, a two. Oh, good. Good, thank you. So we want to rescind everything right now. <laughs> so I, I would, uh, the understanding is that there are any administrative fixes that, that that's incorporated it with our authorization. Okay. If anybody finds any other typos, let me know. It's fine. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Very nice letter. Very mm -hmm. good. All right. Good news. Mr. and Mrs. Pelcher. Like yes, it's to? mostly Mr. You can come sit here, Greg. Where do I get to sit? Anywhere. The chair. That's on the end. Oh, okay. and it's got a sparker in it. It will have. Rose controls that tonight. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Um, okay, so explain what we have on the board. What it is on the board that was pre-given to all the selectmen is um, the, the Selectmen? Select persons. Thank you. Okay, persons. Thank you. I will change that. Um, John McCullough brought to you your attention couple meetings back about the snow coming off the town hall's roof slamming against the side of the building building up with ice mm -hmm. to uh, pop the windows out and then he called I called him and we talked and he at the time already went on to the, like the used market to see what was available and um, what I came up with because I thought of using the big town excavator, okay, since it sits all winter, but then having a, basically a 30,000, 24,000 pound machine down there, got pretty well voted down when John told me on the west side of the building, we have less than 10 feet to work with before we come to the septic and the pump stations mm -hmm. and the septic field. So then I thought about doing a skid steer, because I've owned a skid steer uh, bobcat for, since 1995. And I thought, well, a snowblower. Then I said to myself, well, the snow is not like it used to be, nice and fluffy and powdery and go. It basically turns into a glacier ice. Mm -hmm. And John emphasized that he was on the internet looking at little mini excavators that have a bucket and a blade so you can scrape it and just throw it on the side or get it out of the way. Where a skid steer, you've got to either drive it in, turn it around, and you just don't have the spice to do the work. So then I went on a used market after him and I talked, per the letter. Why don't you talk and, about new first, because that's what's here. Well, I'm leading up to the new prices, okay. The, there's the two new prices there are basically from Champlain Equipment, and they're brand new. They will be under the municipal price, which is like, I can't believe what the price the municipal governments pay, but okay with it. You think that's still higher? No, okay. I think that's very low, because when I went there as a private person to talk to them about buying the two that was out front, 
when he gave me the prices, I just about dropped. It was those retail those prices. Those were retail prices on the left hand side, and I said, You've got to be 26 mini. Yep. So um, the difference between the two machines is one is about a thousand pounds bigger than the other one, and it's a little more stable platform. The little one is perfect, stays in the its tracks area, like it's six feet wide, and it'll swing in its area. The other one has a little overhang, but you can always make the little, the, the second, the, the more pricier one, do better work because it's a stable platform, it's a little bigger, it's a little heavier, and I know when that snow comes off that roof over there after I went over and looked at it, it's gotta be a glacier on, on both sides of it. Mm -hmm. So you guys invested a half a million dollars into a building that's gonna build up eventually, and we don't have enough common laborers with shovels and picks to dig it out. So then you could scroll down. So that's the There's kind of size of it. It's a little one, it's got a cab, it, mm -hmm. And the, the two bids both come with uh, a flat 30 inch cleanup bucket, which is a flat bucket. And I also had them spec a one with teeth on it because then I started thinking to myself, okay, what happens if they find stuff that's so frozen because they couldn't get at it for three or four days that it froze down like a glacier? You're going to need something that can rip at it. And it John talked about one that does. That's yeah, exactly this. what this yeah. is. But the, instead of a flat edge bucket, right. maybe get yeah. one with some teeth on teeth. it. But right in the front, in front of those tracks, you can see it does have it's a blade there. Yeah, little blade. So you can keep blade. pushing oh, the stuff up okay. in front of you yep. or cleaning up your area. And it would allow you to go on, especially the western side, seemed to be the most critical because of the septic systems. Well, but John, I think, was still concerned that that would was too big for the area. Well. No, not these. No. Not these little ones. No, these are the baby ones. These yeah. these here are These are the baby are ones. small. Mm -hmm. they're yeah. Not they're yeah. not like my yeah. 35 tons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, these are the small small little ones. And then so and then so, and so as a basis of comparison, Greg researched online. He went to the website called use BobcatUse.com website, mm -hmm. and so and he I found all of these. This. And so that's basically so used one those are used new. ones. Well, yeah. that's because of your municipal rate. Right. And I have a feeling of this. By the time I set it so it's delivered, if the proposal goes through, through you folks here. It'll be delivered right over there versus trying to get it from Chio, California, or Phoenix, Arizona, or Canada. Chico. Okay, Chico. Come on. But the, but the idea is it's local, it's warranty, and that was the flat price to the missile. I don't know what a lease purchase plan is. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I didn't go any farther than just get right. the basics for you, you guys. Quite frankly, we don't have any money to buy anything right, right now. Well, we have to get it authorized next year. Right, we have to get it authorized next year, which means it's also, again, too late for snow season. Or, or you do it well, we got through this year, we'll get through the next year. Or you do a lease purchase. Or the other idea is what happens. Oh, lease purchase. What happens to your, um, your uh, end of the season money if the highway department has anything left over? It goes into the, re uh, the highway equipment reserve fund. This isn't highway, this is town hall. Um, and we well, don't need this for how do we? <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I mean, I would oh, imagine yeah. it could still be used for a lot of things with the highway when they're digging out it's small some, ditching. Small ditching, cleaning out we culverts. We got a ditching bucket. But please not trash it. You know, cleaning out culverts. I imagine there's a lot of things that could get used for. for the you know, for the you highway. Wide ditching bucket. For right. Um, and it's little, so it. That's, could, that's it what could Woodbury get, uses. That's right. their only excavator. Is, it, it's little, is it really? That's what they do to ditches with. It could get in little places where the big. That's why I would actually, I would think it a bigger the two of them if you're going to plan on letting the town people use it because the small ones are like six thousand pounds versus yeah. seven thousand pounds. Does My question sound? is though, if it was because we in the winter time we would have to leave it down at the town hall. Correct. Mm -hmm. Is it going to start? Yeah, but I make sure that they stuck in a block heater on it, like all my equipment has block heaters. So you know where this is going to go. So then they're going to need a shed building to put it in. 
Well, this actually, is like as things. Well, you know how that's going to work. Well, you got the thirty-five thousand dollars piece of equipment. You're going to let it sit outside. Well, I do. You do. I do. A, I, I used left out for years a hundred and sixty thousand dollars truck. And you have a forty outside. by sixty shop that a lot of equipment is mm -hmm. inside. He did. Now it is. It wasn't in the so, early days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, if anybody else can come up with another idea about how we can manage and maintain, you know, that valuable gem that we have. I mean, I just came down Kent Hill Road and you could see it and, you know, John did a great job, whoever helped him with the plywood against the windows. Um, yes, but, yes. Yeah, I mean, you it's know, something we didn't even think of. Yeah, I know. Doing the building, yeah. you know. So we just so folks know, Pat, we, we put a standing seam roof on there. <sighs> And so, you know how that works. The snow goes sure. up and it goes boom, sure. and it comes up over the windows. And the concern is, so we want to do one. Windows. One comes down and the next load yep. hits that. Yeah. The yeah. Middlesex Records building that happens a lot. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and those are all histor you know, his restored historical mm -hmm. windows, sure. and we don't yeah. want them to get smashed. Yeah. Yeah. So we pay to have them restored. Right. The windows. Yeah. I can anticipate a question that someone in the town might ask, and that is, can we rent these? You can, about fifteen to two thousand dollars a month for four to five months. So by the time you did five years of it, you've bought the right. brand new right. machine, right. and you have to pay the load thing. charge. Then you got to move charge. it and move it out. Six hundred bucks a pop. Oh, it's going to come out of probably bucks. out of Essex area. No, I mean somebody always asks that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Pete's equipment rents some, but they, yeah. it's eight hundred dollars to mow that. Yeah. Trust me, I know already. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like yeah. you've been there. Yeah. yeah, I was going to rent a piece of equipment. And yeah. Mow charge dissuaded me. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of open to you guys. Yeah. I, I, I really stress that you should think of the new side over anything used mm -hmm. because. You have no idea even what, what happened. The municipal rate kills the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't kill it. It enhances it. Enhances it. Right. It's right. too good to be. It kills the, the idea of buying a used, used rig. Right. So if you guys want me to entertain, I could call. I could talk to Duff and see what a lease purchase would be with the municipal rate and stretch it out yeah, over a five-year period. Yeah. 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 Maybe and maybe one. call around and see what it would cost to rent one. Oh, I get it. I really well, no, but I mean, now. just so we know, it so would yeah, cost four thousand four, four thousand a month for. Well, we need to be able to say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Rent, so I'll just get the rent, rent lease purchase. Lease call Pete's rent. equipment up in Marsville. Oh yeah, well, I'll ask Tim. Right. Maybe they, they, yeah. they rent. They do rent. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they do. Oh yeah, they do. I mean, it's good to have all the information. Yeah. Right. Right. And then we'll weigh it all up. So. If you guys decide after you have to be coming back again, I see that. Well, we like having the, you here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you feel guilty that I would stay home and then maybe take a nap out of the deal. Mm -hmm. um, Quick, you're on TV. That's all right, it doesn't bother me. So, do I proceed on getting the lease numbers? Do yeah, I proceed just, on the lease yeah. numbers? The um, rental numbers? Rental? If there was a way that we could put like these magic deflectors or something, some of the stuff came down and hit them. And I know, like that. if there's a structural. Yeah. Yeah. I, but some of that stuff's got to be wicked heavy. Yeah. I mean, it's happening right now at my house with the standing oh, same roof. Roger's oh, been yeah. out there trying well, to get shakes huge, the house. huge things of ice. Would you uh, want to go five years, seven years? What would you guys think from the lease purchase? Five. Uh, five years? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you could put butterflies and snow and then rentals. There, still have a lot of it piling up. It wrecks the roofs of those things eventually because it tears, oh, all that weight tears on this. What else did you guys want? Unless, unless it was designed. So that would that cover everything for you guys? At least purchase? No, and no rental, rental price. rates for four months. And last year when we were dealing with the town hall, we hadn't put all this money and work into it, so was nobody was using it. I'm going to say four so months. Because be now it's being summer. used and it's being heated. See, when it wasn't being heated, then. No, yeah, but eventually you get a sunny day. Right. Well, yeah. We did have nice storms of fluffy factor for. 150 years, and mm -hmm. now we have fluffy factor, and three days later we have wet to make the nice ice burn. Yeah. Yeah. And then everything comes off, and we well, have. Well, thank you, Mr. Pelchuk. We have some thank of the New England snow. Thank yeah. you. 
Okay. You get your trailers. Thank you. Park them. Snow falls in the trailers. Can you drive away? Trailers. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to see me in two weeks then? Probably. And you would love probably Rose to send you another email with all the... You could type it. Little, no, Just no. add another page. I will admit there is no grammar problems here because... Rose did. No, spell check. No, Pelchuk. Pelchuk did spell check. Spell check is done. Pelchuk spell check? Because I know better. My scrap paper wasn't presentable. Oh, okay. So she made it presentable, of course. Very good. All right, I'll get the rest of the data. You guys can think of what you can do. All right, thank you. Thank you, Gregory. Thanks, Gregory. Um, thank, you. thank you for the Committee of One Rosa. Thanks. Thanks for offering to thank do you. this. I'm going home now. Okay, I'll see you later on. I told him I'm going to select for a meeting and he's still present. Let me turn that off. Sorry, folks. Well, I'm listening audience. Exciting. Thank you. That was Jim Pittman. In case you didn't hear. Have a nice day. See you guys. All right. Thanks, Greg. See you, Greg. Okay. Thanks, so let's recap town meeting. Um, it was the issue of the location of town meeting was raised. I think it gets raised every year. Um, and we did a straw poll. Those that were there, the majority were town hall, but keep in mind that there were like 230, maybe more people we didn't at know what the number town was. meeting. We, at the time, we didn't know how many people were there, and there might have been more than 230, but there was at least 230, I believe. Um, don't forget, we have signed the usage agreement with the school, so that no matter what happens with the school, we still have the right to use that space. It's, it works out really well. The kitchen works well for lunch. Not that we're not going to have a kitchen of sorts over there, but it's mm -hmm. not going to be as good as what the school has. Mm -hmm. um, and the capacity uh, over here, I think, is 120. 135. 135. With the existing septic system, we could increase that if we brought in some porta potties. Um, but what's the building approved for by the state? Yeah, it's the fire code. Yeah. It's not. We're waiting for the fire inspector. Fire right. Yeah, we're waiting so for the Once we get our certificate of occupancy, we'll have all of that. The real limiting factor becomes where you put the people. How many chairs can you fit right. in there? Um, the other thing we would have to consider while we were looking at the renovation and ways we could possibly accommodate a town meeting there. There was discussion of being able to use both levels and having monitors for the people to be able to see oh. the select board and the speakers and whatnot, which is fine. Uh, some other logistical considerations, though, because um, your moderator's up here, let's say, on the upper level, and somebody downstairs has a question. How's he going to see him with mm. the hand? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to have to have a camera that's feeding the downstairs to upstairs as well as the upstairs to the downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, these are all things that can be dealt with, but they are factors that would have to be considered. Yeah. And I don't know how the sound would, would be. I mean, the sound right now at the school that already sets up is great. Well, and, and I wouldn't want to be in the downstairs. I wouldn't either. You know, it, is a diminished value there and quality of participation? And, well, plus if we're doing a lunch there now, the people right. are there Getting lunch, right? lunch is ready. And and they they daycare daycare I was going to say, yeah, the school, uh, mm -hmm. the kids or daycare. I mean, ideally, we could have it at the town hall because that's where it right. oh, it's should, us. should be. Yeah. But I think if we want to make sure that we're open and transparent and accessible to the public, the school is working out well. Yeah. Uh, However, yeah. we could also consider having informational meetings there in advance of town yeah. hall meetings. Yeah. Town day meetings. Yeah, I mean, like this when the school has their. Mm -hmm. Like the Saturday before yeah. or something like that. Well, there's the other part somebody brought up, Doug Lilly brought it up, and you know, I tend to agree increasingly people don't have town meeting off. You know, um, the only people who really get town meeting day off are teachers and um, state employees. So you'll take a day off from work to participate in town meeting. Um, that's, that, that's costly and most people can't afford to do that. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the legislature, no matter what the political makeup is, they never can seem to make it 
the law that everyone has town meeting day off. I thought they were going to do that. They, they've been talking about this for 30 years. Oh, I, thought, I thought that they, they were always, you know, talking about it last Republicans year. Republicans blame the Dems, the Dems blame the Republicans, but when each is in control, they never seem to be able to figure out how to do that. It should be on so, for everybody. Yeah. You know, I think they're all chicken. Yeah. Middlesex does it at 4.30 for so, town meeting, followed by a dinner. Yeah, so I, I was thinking if we want to experiment like we did with moving the venue to the school, Few years ago, which I think is a success. I think this sound system is wonderful. Room. People can now hear. Um, there were a lot of people, particularly the elderly, who have, are str were struggling to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, Artie Tulis has got that sound system dialed in. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of room. There's good bathroom and facilities. Parking. It's it's better parking. It's, there, you Level. don't have to navigate those stairs going up if you're handicapped. Mm -hmm. I know we got the elevators and all that, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's just really friendly. And well, I don't see any downside to the yeah. school, and I mean, we should be using that school building. Yeah. We're paying taxes on that, too. Yeah, well, what just, dawned, <clears throat> what just dawned on me is now that the renovation is nearly complete and we'll be able to have different other town functions there or cultural events, maybe people will feel like, okay, I still get to see the town yeah. hall and get to be there, and yeah, it's okay, I don't, you know, yeah. I, I'll go to the school for yeah. the town meeting, right. but so they'll still be able to... I think it's a really important point, Rose, yeah. because the town agreed to invest in renewing the building and giving it another life, and I think the sentiment that was expressed in that straw vote was that we want to see the return on that investment. Yeah, now. right, right. People want us to use that building, yeah. and we will. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, once it's up, and we get our certificate of occupancy and stuff, there's a lot of board and commission meetings that can happen right over there. Um, Pat, did you want to say anything? Um, you got, you folks done a beautiful job covering it. I would just say that the last time that I went, went to the one over here, the last one we had here, mm -hmm. I sat three quarters of the way up on that side over there, you could see the back doors from where I was. I don't. I, I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to how many people came up, opened the door, looked around inside, and said, "See you later." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't. That's not that. right. No, yeah. we don't want that. That's yeah. right. It that's, was fall. That, it was over that, should, that shouldn't happen though. Yeah. Right. But regardless, and, and at least at the right. school, if people don't want to go, that's their prerogative. Yeah. But it's if not they can't go because the the venue limits it, yeah. then that's not right. That's no. Right. And that's what was happening. Well, we Tradition and all aside, I don't care, you know, it's a yeah. beautiful building, I do want to see it used, yeah. but when it stops people from exercising their right to vote, yeah. it's mm -hmm. time to look for a yeah. new venue. We've done that, we found it, stay there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well Good thank point. you for your Good point. And yeah. Denise, we were talking before the meeting that the numbers approached 200 this year. 230. So we had 230 people, that building's no way going to handle 230. I would like to see us try a town meeting. Maybe it's not next year, but in the near future, I'd like to see us try a town meeting on the Monday night before, mm -hmm. just to see what whether we see an improvement in numbers, an improvement in dis diversity. Can Katie, can you uh, put that in the minutes? Participation. Mm -hmm. And let's try it because we tried the school, and I got to tell you, I was not into moving to the school. I know. I was, all, I I was all, all caught up in that, and when we had it at the school. The first year, I was already like, this is way better. Yeah, it is way better. And the sound system wasn't dialed in like it is now. It's yeah. just great. Yeah. Oh, this year was good. And I, I would speculate, if we have 230 people on town meeting day when most people are still going to work, mm -hmm. I think a Monday night, even, quite frankly, there are people who had town meeting, I'm going to leave names out, right? That had where, and workplaces out, but there were, town, there were people who in this town who had town meeting day off and didn't show up, and I don't know what their reasoning was. That's their prerogative. And that's, that's, it is their prerogative, but maybe those folks would show up on a Monday night. We'll see, maybe we'll see less people, but I think it's worth a shot, allowing everybody the opportunity right. well, to Well, Katie's putting it in the minutes so we can check out how we go about making that change. Um, how we, I guess I have to think about how we, we would. announce it. Yeah. Well, it has to be decided by the. I don't know if it has to be decided by the electorate, no, the, you know, no. the, the, the voters of the town or not. I, don't know. I think it's the 
uh, the discussed. collective voting board of officials. So the us BCA. for the justice, yes, the BCA with yeah. the justice of the peace, right. and there has to be a quorum, and that's how it will be yeah. decided. Yeah. Okay. I think you're right. Yeah. Just, but just a place. I'm just thinking that, you know, we have um, the election coming up in November um, where we could put something out to say, you know, okay. what, would you, what would you think about town meeting on Monday night kind of thing, like a survey kind of thing? I, I just, without having a meeting to fully flesh out the why we're doing it, I mean, maybe there could be well, no, a I mean, info we could do sheet both. with it. Right, we could do both. Um, I would just like it to be informed mm -hmm. before people vote on something like that. Well, they're not really voting. They're just giving well, us a poll, but that could work against ex the experiment. Mm -hmm. I think the experiment's well, just one time. <laughs> it's going to die. We can have an informational meeting at the town hall about changing the date of Oh, we could do that. The date of voting. Nice summer day. We'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Evening. I like that idea. Yeah. And get people, you know, involved in helping us make this decision. Yeah. I think we want to provide as many opportunities as possible for people to provide their input because I know there are people who feel very strongly that they want to see the meeting return to the town hall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's on both sides, I think. It's, yeah. I mean, we saw some of yep. that there. Right. Right. When we took the straw the poll. Meeting. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I respect that. Um, but I also want to make sure that we're providing people an opportunity to participate and it's not being limited by the space. Exactly. So anyway, so there's some good ideas. Yes. Let's think about, Katie's got it in the minutes and she'll put it on my list of things to do, but I think some public informational meetings. One at the town hall, one yeah. at the school Yeah. in the summer. Or maybe we, we could, if there are any other big issues that we've been struggling with, or mm -hmm. I think might, we might want to bring to the meeting yeah. and cover it. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank you very much, folks. Yeah. Appreciate you coming. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Pat. Speaking. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Covered it very nicely. Appreciate thank you. Thank you. Have and a good come, day. Come take, take care. care. Come visit us anytime. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Not into politics, but occasionally something comes up. Scratch good. your interest. <laughs> thank you. Bring me your guitar next time. We'll <laughs> open the second and fourth Monday of every month. It's no better than singing, Denise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Santa Rose.